What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be working on the hatch. I am actually going to be attending IBOC, which is this coming Saturday. So I'm going to try to edit this video or work on this video or finish this video, I mean, and then upload it before IBOC. But I will be there with this car. This car will be at the Nima's Garage booth. Um, and yeah, I didn't go last year. Uh, I displayed my car, like, I think like three years ago with the coupe when I had the livery a long time ago. And... Um, yeah, so it's been like a while. I did go last year, but I was just spectating. So I'm hoping that this year the IBOC layout is a lot better. It's not all cramped. And people don't have to wait for like two hours just to get it to spectate. Um, so hopefully it's not chaotic or anything like that. But yeah, I'm going to be taking this car. I actually do have two videos or two or three videos to upload. Um, that's supposed to be before this video, but I kind of want to upload this video first. So... Just a heads up, there's going to be some videos that just are going to be uploaded after this, but it might be a little bit old. I'm just working on the engine bay right now. What I am doing is I take off the OEM fan that I was uh, originally running because um, the OEM fan it is so... Well, the shroud is big on it. So a big shroud plus a thicker radiator. My coolant reservoir tank was... It was bent. It wasn't sitting straight like how it is right now. So what I decided to do is pick up a Mishimoto uh, fan shroud combo. And this should fit on the coil rad because this is designed to fit stock radiators. And uh, I picked this up because I needed a slimmer fan and just the overflow was bugging me that it was crooked. Let me open this box and show you guys. Yes. Super slim. I was running one of these before a long time ago. My old track car with my uh, Skunk 2 half size. Uh, so I know exactly how it will fit. And the reason why I wanted this too is because this does have the plug in play. So you don't have to cut it or splice into it. It just plug up into the factory um, headlight harness. Which is this one. It will plug right up into there. So here it is. Nothing crazy fancy. This was 130 bucks, um, and I bought it on eBay. Here's the original one, and you can see how much bigger that thing is. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna double check on these, make sure that they're all tight, and then uh, bolt it up. Super, super simple. So I have these two lined up. The issue I'm having is the bottom two don't line up on this coil rad. And I had that issue with this fan. I was only able to use either, either these two or those two. So what I'm going to do is pull the shroud back out. And then drill larger holes so it can line up. Um, let's see that. Kind of see that. A little bit, but yeah, I'm gonna pull it back out and then uh, slot it with a uh, drum or something and make it fit. But I mean, it does fit, it's just gotta fix that. And damn, that thing is super tiny. Uh, yes, it is straight. Here we go. Alright, so I notched it out. I'm just tying these down by hand. Alright, and uh, yeah, time to uh, bolt the shroud back down. I think it should go up a little bit higher. Cool. It's literally sometimes the little things. I mean, this is a pretty big piece, but. The small things there we go all in the plugs behind here nice and slim now to put my air box back in uh, I gotta put the bracket back and uh, got a couple more little things just to add and uh, change or not change but I was missing for a while um, one thing I was missing was you guys can see my brake booster. I was missing the bracket that holds this brake booster in. 
and it normally holds like the clutch line or the hard line for the clutch but Honda still sells these here's the part number for anyone that wants it 17932 SO4AOO and that is the bracket. This is clear zinced. Uh, for anyone that really cares. But, yep, that's just gonna go there. So I can put my brake booster hose in here and won't be irritated that it's just like sitting there. So I gotta put that on. But let me put the airbox back on. And, yeah, looking uh, nice and stock and clean. Gotta put the AC back in though. My All my AC stuff's in that box. I just have to put it in. I'm just lazy. My AC compressor is right there. And this right here is all for the coupe. So I can put those NSX calipers on my uh, budget track car. And don't worry, I have a separate video for that. Like I said, this video is gonna be way more advanced or way more upload or newer than all the ones I'm gonna post up after this video or after the iBot video. Um, depending on how I feel and uh, Yep, huge shout out to Koya Red They are part of the build too now Your box is in put cooling back in here Fans there Put this bracket in and finally my throttle cable is on there There we go now to uh, actually turn on the car, make sure the fan works. Uh, I think the fan should work. You know what? I should I should just plug it up to a, like a 12 volt and see if it actually works. Um, but I think it should be good. So what you guys so what you guys are gonna be seeing on Saturday is this setup. Um, race screen T37 is the spoon front lip, and this is the bay. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna leave my hood popped at Eibach. Uh I'll Probably just leave the hood down. We'll see. And if someone asks me to pop the hood, then I'll probably pop it. Uh, yeah. Uh, wow, that looks so much better. Sometimes it's literally just little things, the very tiny things. I honestly was never like like this. I didn't really care too much about like you know replacing every little thing. But as I kept building cars and hanging out with certain people, it motivated me to do it too. And uh, yeah, it just made me want to clean up the bay. Like there's just a lot of things that um, I see. Like for example, Carlos's car, Carlos's white EG on the spoons. His bay is amazing. He got all the bolts like re-zinked and everything. And it's just a lot of little things. Um, sometimes change the look of a bay or the whole car. Like, for example, you know, like this this little hood prop thing, you know, small things. And I don't think if anyone even noticed, I am running um, the Mugen license plate bolts as uh, just a part or whatever. And another new thing is I actually did remove the, um, the wiper and that kind of looks weird but I'll probably paint it just leave it uh, yep seek your exhaust probably have a walk around later on with the car but yeah that is it see you guys all at iBug I'll see Zosh there also um, and yeah have a good time guys or see you guys on Saturday and uh, you guys could come check out this car. It's just a little Civic. So, peace out guys. Don't let others just keep building.